is KAG's Hastings Sports. With any hope of the Aggie men's basketball team making the NCAA tournament now over after being eliminated from the SEC tourney, attention shifts to the Aggie women's team. The 15th ranked Ags are one of four SEC squads in the top 15 of the current national rankings. And for the second straight year, Reed Arena is one of the host sites for the first two rounds of the ladies NCAA tournament, bringing plenty of enthusiasm to Aggieland. Even after 29 years, you love it. We know we're going. We just we know where we're playing. We just don't know who we're playing right now. The ladies find out who they play Monday night at six o'clock Central Time during the selection show. Of course, wearing green, A and M plays that opponent Sunday, March 23rd at Reed Arena. Now you can see my entire one-on-one -on -one interview with national champion head coach Gary Blair tomorrow night at 10 o'clock on Aggie Sports Overtime. Chris Costa and I will also have everything else you need to know Aggie athletics related. It starts at 10 o'clock Saturday evening on KAGS. Now the team the men would have played today, number one Florida facing Mizzou in the third round of the SEC tournament. Missouri kept it close until the 10 minute mark in the second half. From that point forward, the Gators outscored MU 34 to 13. Michael Frazier and Scotty Wilbekin led the way for UF with 15 points apiece as Florida throttles Mizzou and moves on to the semifinals. The other afternoon game, Frank Martin and South Carolina facing Tennessee. Jordan McRae with a nasty dunk for the balls in the second, but the senior wasn't done. With a 13-point lead, goes off the dribble, a fancy scoop shot for the bucket. But we save the best for last. On the fast break, number 52 with a two-handed throwdown. McRae had 14 on the game, and Tennessee wins by 15. They play Florida tomorrow. And in New Mexico this weekend, the third-ranked Aggie men and women's track team competes in the 2014 NCAA Indoor Championships. The Ags enter competition with four national leaders just a year after the men finished in fourth and the women placed 12th in the event. Despite not winning the SEC Indoor Championships last month, the Ags plan on making history and winning the university's first ever indoor national team title. And not the most pleasant SEC finish for us last week, but uh, it's okay. Uh, it, it's about uh, gathering it back up and getting ready to go. And uh, this, this team will be ready. Um, we'll be a little better this week than we are uh, last week. And the Aggies softball team playing the first of three games this weekend tonight in Columbia, South Carolina. After falling behind 2 to nothing, that offense, the Ags scored five in the top of the fourth. Jenna Stark with a two-run home run. It is now 5-2 to two in the fifth inning.